Hell yeah, what's up guys? This is Cruz Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back again, guys. Today I got some more featured on Freedom. That's right. We've got three partners selected today to get some more views, get some more subscribers, get some more whatever. You know how it is, guys. This is what we do. With that being said, for those of you that want to get involved in this, you want to get your video featured here, all you got to do, submit a link to the video, and maybe write a brief description, put that in the comment section. Every video, every comment, I approve personally, and it's going to happen. And then we select three or four, and boom, done. With that out of the way, there's a big change coming up to Freedom Online, or the featured on Freedom Online. Here's the thing. We're also going to be posting the video on our website, freedomonline.tm, or online.freedom.tm, that's the one. <laughs> Oops. Uh, our website is also going to have your video posted, featured there with your written description forever. So you're going to get all of those things plus that for free. We're trying to get you some more views, get you some shoutouts. That's what we're going to do. All right, guys, with that out of the way, we have three partners today, so let's get into it. The first partner is... All right, guys, the first partner is INF Productions, and he's provided us with a Grand Theft Auto V video, and it's called The Bare Ass Bandit. AKA the Pant Man. Yeah, I can't make that up. That's what it is. Guys, if you've ever, ever wanted to take your pants off, grab a crowbar or a lead pipe or something like that, beat up some gangsters, steal a boat, sink the boat, and then fight a shark <laughs> in one video, you don't have to anymore because he did it. Guys, let's cue the clip. This is crazy. All right, go! Like I said, guys, you can't get much better than that. Today's second partner is Shillian. And Shillian is a female gamer. Thumbs up. <laughs> and she plays primarily The Sims 4 and City Skyline, but mostly The Sims 4. And I really liked her channel and her submission because she does tutorials. She doesn't just play, you know, Let's Plays. There's nothing wrong with that. But she teaches you how to do certain things in a game. And she's very focused on a, on a very niche market. Sims 4, City Skyline, that type of thing. So really like the channel, guys. Here's a video of her teaching you a few things. Check it out. I will be back with our third partner next. Go to School is a mod created by Zerbu. Link to their website in the description. The mod is a mini add-on for the Get to Work expansion pack, a must have for this mod, where it allows you to follow your sim children and teens to school. Along with this, there is also field trips, weekly collection hunts and costume days. It's quite in depth for a player made mod. When it comes time for your child to go to school, you'll get a dialog box appear asking if you want to follow your sims to school. Yeah, guys, if you play Sims 4 and you, and you want to stay in the loop, definitely watch her stuff out. Also, she does a lot of mod reviews, which are kind of cool, too. All right, guys, the third and final partner is... All right, guys, our third and final partner is No Latitude. He's relatively new to YouTube, definitely deserves a look. Uh, and he was looking at some of the pictures of the Horizon, or the New Horizon. I believe that's the name of the, of the uh, telescope thing. Took some pictures of Pluto. You probably read them on the news or Reddit or something like that. But here's the thing. They inspired him to create a music album, not just a song, but an entire album. He's done six tracks. They're really, really good. I like them. The whole album is on his is on his YouTube channel. Definitely worth checking out, guys. All right, that's it for today's featured on Freedom. Remember that not only are you in the video, people are gonna check your links in the description because or in the comment section because I approve them all. Also, you get your own page on Freedom Online. All of that stuff, guys. It's free, it's promotion, definitely get involved. Watch the video, submit your link, let's do this. It's your boy Big C, 
Check it out. I'll be back later with some more free intros and a few more things up my sleeve. All right, check it out. Bling. We received uh, several pictures uh, yesterday afternoon and evening, and we'd like to run through some of those now. Uh, this is the one that came in here at about 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon. This is our, by far the most spectacular picture uh, we have so far. This is raw data. It has not been processed in any way. Uh, we can see the, the big banded planet and the, of course the ring system is very prominent in this picture. Also prominent is uh, Saturn's largest moon, Titan, in the upper right hand corner. Uh, Titan is a very large moon, 3,600 uh, 3, miles in diameter, uh, almost planet sized. So the Pioneer Saturn mission continues to go very, very well. We're about 50 hours now from closest approach on Saturday morning. This is Pioneer Saturn mission operation. On Voyager, we heard a lot of, uh, or some, speculation about <coughs> organic molecules and uh, the possibility that within the clouds there's a belt or a zone or something where the temperature is comfortable for life, unlike this room. Our <laughs> <laughs> similar, similar speculation is possible or reasonable for Saturn. There almost certainly is a zone as you go down where the temperatures are um, comfortable. Uh, for life. And even the mixture of elements is probably adequate for life. There's carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, etc. Et um, 